Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this very exciting Mishnah Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a dive into the world of After Effects and take a look at a solution for a problem that I've been having ever since the update came out where you can edit text layers from After Effects inside of Premiere. There's an effect that I've been wanting to do. We just have a normal solid, maybe lower the opacity a little bit, underneath a text layer, but that would scale for how long the text was, so you could just progressively add them in Premiere. So if the lower thirds, if someone has a really long name and someone has a really short name, you can just, you know, have it all scale accordingly. And I had no idea how to do this before. I was trying different expressions, all sorts of different crazy stuff. And I'm finally doing a project where I'm going to be doing the same sort of thing potentially hundreds of times uh, over the course of the project. So I went down and Googled it and I finally figured out how to do it. There's this excellent post by a guy named Kevin Camp on Creative Cow, and this guy is some sort of magical wizard genius because it's so easy now, and oh my goodness. So Kevin, if for some weird reason you watch this tutorial, you're the man, and I owe you one. If you're ever in Nashville, I will take you to Frothy Monkey, and we can have some bacon and eggs. So without further ado, let's hop into After Effects and get started. So I've got a blank composition here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text layer. And I'll have this say Theo Meissner, and we'll change this to Gotham Thin because, you know, we're hipsters and we do that. I'll make it a little bit gray, and that looks cool. So that is fine. Then after that, what we're going to do is go over to our effects and presets and add a fast blur. This is kind of optional, but I will show you what it does in just a second. And we will just set the default to 5, just following right along with Kevin's post. After that, we will add a shift channels effect. And what this will do is do most of our heavy lifting for getting the solid background behind the text. So we're gonna change take alpha from, and then change that to full on. And now you can see we've got this all filled in back here and it scales with the text. So if we change Theo Meissner to, see just just like that, so perfect. And now we can see that what the fast blur does is it expands and contracts our solid that we're creating. So. That default value of five is pretty cool. Next after that is just adding a fill effect. So we get this a solid color and drop this in here and we will make it uh, this color, whatever. And then finally, since Kevin did this in such an elegant way, this would have been plenty enough for me. I would have been fine to duplicate the text layer. That's the way that I'm doing it in the project that I'm working on. But man, this Kevin guy knows what's up. And he went over to effects and presets and did CC composite. And from here, it just adds our text right in front there. So look how great that is. So if you wanted to bring this over into Premiere, all you'd have to do is, you know, maybe do some animation, hit P, go over position, bring it back some, F9, easy E, shift F3 to get to your curves editor, bring it over, add some motion blur, Shift F3 to go back to timeline. Just like that. Look how fantastic that is. Oh my goodness. If you don't already know how to bring this into Premiere to make it an editable text layer, I have a tutorial on it, which I will link down in the description below, as well as put an annotation on the screen right now if you'd go check it out. But here's the short version. Just hit Control-K to open up your composition settings. Go over to Advanced, and then Template, Unlock Text Layers, Editable in Premiere Pro. Hit OK, then we're in Premiere. Just import this After Effects composition and select in this case will be third one, and you'll be good to go. So it's just that simple. Once again, I cannot give this Kevin guy enough credit because, oh my goodness, he's just saved me hours upon hours upon hours of time in this thing I'm working on right now. So be sure to go find him and say, you, sir, are a genius and deserve the best in everything you do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below because it's always fun to read the comments. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel. Check out the Mr. Media website and follow the socials down in the description below. Once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.